Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest prides himself on making food that tastes good, but also make you feel good. In fact, his whole approach to cooking is eat for now, eat for life. Please mm -hmm. welcome Chef Kenny Miner hey. to the circle. Thank How are you, you today? Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> Thank I you for having me. I think it's the hair contrast yeah. with the dress. Uh oh, okay. You think yes, so? Yes, I think it's beautiful. It oh. all works. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Chef Kenny. So listen, how did you get into cooking and when did you start? I started at six years old. My yeah. grandmother set me down with a brown paper bag and was like, if you're going to be in this kitchen, you're going to have to help me cook. Yes, come on, brown paper bag. And, <laughs> and I'm just like our grandma cooked, so I broke up the, the bread and made that for the Thanksgiving turkey. And from that point on, I was hooked. Wow. Yeah, wow. So I mean, grandma cooked you grandma, into a career. This did is her recipe. Didn't even know. She cooked. She didn't even know. Hospitality, the spirit of um, getting people together, yeah. talk about food and love. Yeah. She did that. She did that for the family. What's your philosophy when it comes to cooking? My philosophy is happiness comes from within. Mm -hmm. So that happiness is show up on your plate. Mm -hmm. And it should be in color, and that's how you feed your life, and that's how you show up for yourself. I love this. So yes. you, you, you're you rooted in traditional Southern cooking, but you like to do it with a healthy flair. Yes. What are we making today? We are making a collard green tostada with mm -hmm. rosemary bacon. This is my grandmother's recipe. It's just up a notch, so Ooh. it starts out with some bacon. Well, wait a minute, Chef. Mm -hmm. That ain't too healthy. Is, is that turkey bacon? No, no, it's just regular. Listen, some people want to substitute. It's like chocolate. I want real chocolate if yes. I'm going to do chocolate. I yes. want real bacon if I'm going to do bacon. Well, let's do it. But yeah. here the thing is about little pieces of bacon. Mm -hmm. We don't want bacon. Mm -hmm. right, <laughs> so right, right. Yeah, you just got a couple of pieces. Just a little piece. You got that. Okay. And rosemary. So the mm -hmm. same little dry rosemary. So the same application I'm rosemary. putting here. I love rosemary. Okay. It has a little fresh thing. Mm -hmm. You can do this to pork chops as well. Yes. This little seed here, a little rosemary there. Okay. And, and, and what seasoning do we and have? And this here? is the seasoning. So we go and you'll see that because for a little time and move that right, over. Right, right, right. And, and while we're doing that, I want to yeah. also talk to you about. Uh, I hear you, you've you lost 80 pounds. 80 pounds, probably more. You know, at some point when we start gaining weight, we don't get on the scale. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I stopped at true. around 85. Yes. Yeah, yeah, 85 pounds. I just wanted a more healthier way to move around and to show up for myself. Yeah. Did, did you do that solely with just cooking or did you uh, pair it with maybe exercise? Oh, what yes. did you do? Cooking is definitely 90% of it. The mm -hmm. other 10%, I hired a personal trainer. So get a trainer, right, everybody. Right, everybody right, all right. my friends are like, oh, you can do it on your own. No, you're not sure up with me in the right, gym, right. so I needed that. So I'm yeah, going to go there. You need someone who's going to constantly push you. Now you're putting in the collard greens. I'm putting the collard greens. We already so have the purple onion here's in there. The, I got some red onion in there, mm -hmm. and it's good. Here's the thing with sauteing. People's like, I, it took a while for me to get my mom. Look, she's like, I want mine. I want mine in a crock pot overnight. <laughs> Let me get my juice. Yeah. And I was like, but now that she's worried about her health, I got her finally to do this sauteing wow. thing. And she's like, well, how you do it? Well, you just put the collard greens in mm -hmm. there and just leave them alone. Yeah. A little so seasoning. Make their, you, you're not going to add any, maybe mm -hmm. a, a little chicken broth? No, or? no, 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 ma'am. Whenever you saute in, you okay. just don't need that much because you probably steam them once okay. you add the broth. We don't want to so steam gonna, them. It's going to make its own sauce. Yeah, juice. let me talk about this seasoning for mm -hmm. a second. We got some seasonings. We got some cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We got some garlic powder, some onion powder, some sea salt. Nice. That's all you need. Cinnamon That's is my key thing. Too, by the way. People like cinnamon and, and collard greens, yes. Cinnamon is the gateway to savory. Mm. It is, and not just for desserts. All right, so we kind of do that, mm -hmm. and you just leave them alone okay. and set them there. Okay. And then well, you do that. Also, Chef Kenny, so I hear you focus on lunch, which is really different because most right. people say breakfast is your most important meal of the right. day. and it is. Why, why did you go for lunch instead? I went for lunch because we are at our most vulnerable lunch. We got mm -hmm. meetings. You work very hard mm -hmm. here. All the ladies do. You're going to and fro, and then you turn up and be like 1.30, 2 o'clock, and you haven't eaten. Mm -hmm. And then now you're true. going to eat, and now you're going to overeat, mm -hmm. and now you got it's usually going to be fat. Fast food, yeah. high saturated fats, high in salt. Yeah. We don't need that, especially yeah. as African American. Yeah. We, we don't. We want to make sure it's healthy. So that's why I came up with this recipe, and that's what the cookbook is about. Mm. Because the cookbook is about all of these kind of things that feel familiar yeah. to us, but kind of have a helpful spin onto it. Because from your plate, from from my plate to your lunch, to your, from from your. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be lunch fix because I'm, yeah. I'm in New York right now, yeah. and so lunch costs a lot. I'm not paying fourteen dollars for a salad. Really? Come on here, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. I'm gonna carry my lunch with me, and I'm gonna do it. And so All that's right. how we go to Toastadas right here. All right. And this is go. the collard greens finished. Mm -hmm. We're gonna help me making, and yeah, I also yeah, made a dessert it. as well. A no-bake cheesecake. Which I like that, and that's uh -huh. quick too, it's right? It's a banana strawberries quick. We make it right there. We do that aside, but we're going to make these for the ladies because we want them to taste you all of this, right? We do want them to taste So go ahead. All right. So, so we're so going to do a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. This is the hummus. You want the hummus oh, as the bottom? Oh, you put a little hummus on Oh, yeah, that. put a little like hummus okay, now there. Okay, a little chickpea hummus. Uh-huh. 
We're gonna Beautiful. spread that around. You're gonna spread there. that around. Yeah, I'd like for them to get some in every bite. There you go. All right. Nice hummus. Again, nutrients. What are you looking? What you name, namely, uh, mainly see here is a whole bunch of color. Mm -hmm. Color should be on your plate. Load of this on okay. top of there. There you go. You're doing great. Of course I am. You know I have my own cookbook too, Chef. Oh, did you? Well, did you? Come on, Chef. Talk I mean, we just do me. our thing. We just, just do our thing. Yeah, we're that's beautiful. That there you like go. That. Yeah. And it's all about presentation. Presentation things. is we'll everything. Sure now we'll come over here to the cherry tomatoes. Okay. And I'll do a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. You do about and that. And then you have, is this feta cheese here? That's feta cheese. We want to sprinkle a little feta, cheese, little feta on cheese on top of it. There. And there you go. Oh, my God. That looks so amazing. There you go. So amazing, I'll tell you. And this is right here. Uh, the cheesecake, um, all of the great things, all of the good food. There you go. All right, so listen, uh, the people tell me you love to sing. I love I, to sing. They, they have a video here. We'd like oh, to go oh. ahead and toss to it. We want to check out your skills, your vocal cords. <laughs> So yeah. I'm gonna also, while <laughs> you're doing that, let's go ahead and get uh, the girls a little bit go. of this. Oh my God! Well, I had my. Like uh, we're looking for this right here. <laughs> All right, that's okay. We're gonna work there together. Go. Toast starter, easy honey. to make. Don't worry Just about that. All right, and then I also want to talk to you a little yes, bit about the, uh, really quick, if you can just go through the yeah. ingredients of the no-bake cheesecake. The mm. no-bake cheesecake, like it, is, it is uh, some cream cheese, right. mm -hmm. some uh, strawberry preserve, mm -hmm. not the jelly, because it's more healthy when you see strawberries, mm -hmm. it should have strawberries in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, chocolate chips, a little bit of cinnamon, some mint, mm -hmm. and some banana, and you just do it, it's right Chef, there. Chef, we surely do appreciate That's you being you here so of. much. We mm -hmm. really do appreciate Thank you being you here. Man. For more recipes just like this one, you might want to follow him at Chef Kenny Maya.